What's up guys? Today we are working on the 7th Gen Civic again. This should be the last, if not one of the last videos on this car, but today we are doing suspension and brakes in the valve cover gasket. And we'll also be fixing the wipers in this video as well. So I'm still waiting on the wipers part, so that'll be a different part. That'll be like at the end of this video probably. But as of right now, we have some suspension and brakes in here from Detroit Axle. Detroit Axle is on eBay, but they're local to us, so we get their parts like next day shipping. And it's it's really cheap and seems to be pretty good quality, so I order from them all the time. But we got front brakes from them, uh, lower control arms, and, and sway bar end links. And then right here from Advanced Auto, I have a Felpro valve cover gasket set. And then I also have some sway bar bushings that I bought on Amazon. And I bought one of these manual impact drivers for removing the brakes for the, the rotors because they're a pain in the butt and I always strip the screws. So now I got one of those, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get this thing the rest of the way into the air. I'm gonna take off the wheels on both sides and then we're gonna start working on the lower control arms. Don't you dare say that I want that I want everything to fall apart when it's hard to me. Okay, so really quick, I'm just gonna go over what I have here. I just, like, I'm not sponsored by Detroit Axle. I can make that very clear. I'm just really, I really genuinely think that nobody can beat out their prices and quality. I've gotten quite a few things from them. And for example, this whole set was $80. It came with two front lower control arms, brand new. It came with sway bar end links. Didn't come with the sway bar bushings, which I kinda think is a little weird, but I got some Moog sway bar bushings for really cheap less than $10. And then it comes with ball joints as well. Now the ball joints in this car are perfectly fine, but I got this kit anyway, I guess just for future. And buying this stuff separate would, it's not worth it. So like just buying this all together, $80 for everything, super awesome. Then over here you got your brakes and this was $70 I paid for this brake setup, which arguably you could get brakes somewhat cheaper elsewhere, but this comes with the rotors, and then it comes with ceramic brake pads, so low dust brake pads. It comes with a bottle of brake fluid and brake cleaner, a can of brake cleaner. So it's just like the fact that you get all of this together with their kits. Also, their pads include the clips, which I know, I mean, that's just how it should be. But if you go to auto parts stores, you don't always get that. And then on top of that, they give you grease too. This is just like, you do not get this anywhere else. And I don't know, I'm assuming they're probably not manufactured here, but let's see. Okay, so yeah, clearly they're not manufactured here, made in China, but the company is based out of here. So supporting a local company and I get next day shipping because I live in the Detroit area. It's just so many wins from Detroit Axle. So, Thumbs up, good for you guys for being awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the stuff on the car. All right, so next step is to take all this apart. I'm actually gonna take the sway bar off first. So on the sway bar on both sides, we have this nut right here, and then these two right here. And it mirrors the same thing on the other side. That'll get the sway bar off, along with the end links, which we'll take off later. And then for the control arms, it's just three bolts. There's this one right here, or three nuts, this one, which is holding the ball joint in. Like I said, the ball joints are good. I'm not gonna be replacing those. I might pump some grease in them. And then there's a, a bolt right here that goes through that. That has to come off, so that'll come off there. You can see it a little bit better right there. And then over here, there's one that goes up through. That has to come off. Same thing on the other side. At that point, we'll have removed the lower control arms and the sway bar. Cause my only crime was hoping There is something more than this Loneliness I feel But no one makes me feel less alive If I didn't fire The way you push my buttons just went right. If I didn't fire
So definitely a lot of rust on the ground. As you can see here, these are the ones that I pulled out. It was a little bit difficult to get the sway bar end links out. One of the end links spun around and smashed my finger while I had the impact gun on it too, which hurt a decent amount. We had to cut off that end link on both ends of the end link because it was stuck. And then uh, this one came off easily on both sides. And then um, down here we have the control arms. As you can see, this one has actually been replaced recently. It's in really, really good shape. The bushing still looks pretty much brand new. This one's all cracked and rotten, so that's how I know this one's been in here longer. Same thing goes with this bushing, does not look very good. This bushing is pretty new. This one looks really new. So this was honestly probably replaced very recently, but I got them in a set. I knew this one was bad. I didn't even look at that one, but I knew this one was really bad and needed to be replaced, so I just bought a set of them. And we got clunking in the front end, so might as well replace both of them. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and install all of the new stuff now. Maybe if we took a moment Long enough to realize how we like we are Then not everything is broken All right, the control arms are in now. The only problem is that over here I didn't realize it because it's like really smushed together, but this boot is completely ripped in half. I do have a replacement, but it's at my house, which is uh, about 25 minutes away. I'm gonna go get it so that I don't have to tear one of the boots off of these guys. Because these are still, you know, these are brand new. I don't wanna take the boot from this one. I could, but I have replacements at home and they're urethane so they won't rip. So I'm gonna go get one of those. All right, I got this boot. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on, replace the, the one on the other side. So now we're working on the brakes. We gotta get this caliper off. To do that, you got two bolts, one right here, and one down here. I believe they're both 12 millimeter. If they're not 12, they're 14. That'll get the caliper off, but then we gotta take the caliper bracket off too, because we're replacing the rotor. So that big nut right there needs to come off. And then there's one on the bottom side as well. That will get the bracket off for the caliper. Once I'm at that point, I'll show you guys how to get these screws out to get the rotor off. <laughs> All right, so this is what you use. This is a manual impact driver. Um, I got this on Amazon for I think 20 bucks, somewhere around there. I'll put a link for it in the description if you want to buy this tool to do this job. But what you do is you stick it in here and you hit the back of it with a hammer and that will press in and turn this at the same time and it will prevent you from stripping it. Comes with a few different bits, a different Phillips bit and two uh, flathead bits. And then you can also take this off, this little socket, and you can use any socket on the end there, any 3 8 drive. So now I'll go ahead and show you guys how this works. You might be able to get these out with an impact gun, but you'll probably end up stripping them. You might get, be able to get them out with just a regular screwdriver. This one's already broken loose, so I can already turn it. Um, so this one, we'll break this one loose so you can see. Just hit the hammer and it should turn. There you go, that's it. It's broken loose. I've done so many of these cars without this tool and I've never been able to get one of these out. I always end up stripping them and having to drill them. So definitely pick up one of these. It's, it's worth it if you're gonna be changing the brakes on a Honda more than once. All right, so I cleaned the rotor off and put it on. Screwed these back in basically as tight as I could by hand. And we'll just leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and bend this dust shield out of the way a little bit because I've been kind of messing with it. And then 
we will throw the caliper bracket back on and uh, we'll put the new pads with clips on there. Guess it's been a while since I fell in love But after last time, don't want to mess things up You're so beautiful and I can't deny My heart is always with you, my head's always stuck in time Love, let me go, cause I've been holding on for far too long I've been fighting and keeping strong, now you just gotta let me go Every feeling that can cause me pain All these memories I can't escape Can you let them all wash away? Let it all wash away Cause I don't wanna feel the pain Love just let me go Cause I don't wanna feel the pain Of holding on and keeping strong So now I'm moving on Alright, so this side's all done now We got the uh, brake pads in there Caliper pushed in Everything's all greased and good to go. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side now, and I'm just gonna time lapse that whole side. Love, just let me go. I didn't know it went this way. One drink too much. All right, so I'm not really going to show you guys how, but last, we're just going to go ahead and replace this valve cover gasket. Will I ever see you? And do you think of me? Love, let me go. Cause I've been holding up for far too long. I've been fighting and keeping strong. Now you just gotta let me go. Time, wash away. Every feeling that can cause me pain All these memories I can't escape Can you let them all wash away? Let it all wash away Cause I don't wanna feel the pain Love just let me go Cause I don't wanna feel the pain Of holding on and keeping strong So now I'm moving on I don't wanna feel the same So love just let me go oh. Got it! <laughs> oh <my. laughs> All right, so this is the final video of the Poop Civic. Um, I have this guy right here. This is the fix for the wipers, and we're going to go ahead and throw this in the car. It should not take long. Okay, so to get this thing in, what we need to do is pop this off. There's one in the middle there and one on the end, and we got to peel back this rubber trim right here. Uh, take off the wiper arms and then there's just some clips in the top of the cowl along there that we'll have to pop out oops uh, and uh, we should be able to access this piece <laughs> Terrible shape. This is our problem right here. That side actually seems to be pretty much still okay. But what we're gonna do is get a tool underneath here and pop those out and then just slap the new one on there. Wait a minute. Is that the wrong one? I think it's the wrong one. Yeah. That's the wrong part. That's not even for this wiper trans. It's really annoying because I got it by part number. What if you just replace one of the caps? Or if you want to return this. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you can get this out. I don't know. I'm really mad because I actually looked up this model car, got the exact part number, and bought it off Amazon by part number. I think you might be able to save just that one side of this old one. Possibly. How do you think I would get this like out though? Mm. Without uh, breaking it. Um, mm, without breaking it. I don't know. All right. So we uh, cut and welded the new ends onto the piece that was already in there to make it work, so that I didn't have to uh, get a new one, so that we can actually be done with this car. Um, but they're in there now. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble everything. The wiper should be good to go. All right guys, that is the end of this journey. That is me turning a car that I bought for $200 into a car worth three grand. That was the whole goal of this car was to sell it and make a profit. However, I had a really close friend who kind of ran into trouble a little bit and wrecked his car. I ended up selling him this car at cost. So the $200 for the car plus all of the money that I had into it, which was about 1300. So he gave me 1500 for the car. And as far as I know, it's still running perfectly strong. This is about seven months later now. I do wish that I could have kept it because I ended up having to buy another Civic Daily that I spent way more than that on. And it's in just as bad a shape as this car. Now that uh, used car prices have kind of skyrocketed, but um, it is what it is. As always, links to all the parts are in the description. And if you would like to watch the entire journey of everything that I did to this car and how I got it to be uh, a $3,000 car from a $200 car, just check out the playlist that this video is in. You can just go to my channel and it'll be listed as one of my playlists. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, we are gonna pull the white Civic out of the graveyard, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I That would really help me out so much. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.